Hey YouTubers out there, this is Mr. Charlie Black coming at you with another video. Um, I was not inspired by anyone to do a video response to this situation or this subject, but I do want to talk about it because it's been on my mind for a while or for a few days now, and um, it's been all over the news for a few days now. If you're not familiar with it, it's the Jennifer Hudson, uh, the the Oscar-winning actress from Dreamgirls and American Idol, um, who recently lost her mother, brother, and nephew in a a homicide case. Um, what they were saying, they, they just found the boys, uh, they just identified the boy, positive, positively identified the boy who was found in the back of her brother's suburban as her nephew who was shot twice in the head. But the uh, entire uh, group of people that died, her mother, her brother, and her nephew, had all been shot to death. Um, there are a lot of details surfacing um, around this case. Julia, who is Jennifer Hudson's sister, went and spoke out and, and tried to get people to find her son, and three days later they found him, but unfortunately he was dead. And my heart goes out to them. They are in my prayers. I'm hoping that, you know, Julia and Jennifer and the rest of the family will be able to to come together and to get through this. Um, I don't know what it's like to lose that many family members, especially immediate family members that I was close to at that um, all at once like that couldn't imagine what it was like and I definitely would not want it to happen to me. Uh, with that said, there they you know, one person that's named as a suspect is Julia's husband, who is an ex felon or who is a felon who is on parole for attempted murder, a robbery, who supposedly turned himself in, was apprehended, the story's still a little bit sketchy. Um, and who was named as a suspect in this case because he had made threats to Julia before that he would kill her family, anyone close to her, if she left him. Um, there's some stories surfacing that the day that he, or allegedly he, I don't really know if it's him, I don't want to incriminate the man before he's actually found guilty, but um, there were support, some reports of saying that she was arguing with him about car payments and all of a sudden, you know, while she was at work, this this happened. I've, I really feel sad because I can't, like I said, I, I can't put myself in that situation and, and, and really fulfill the full scope of things as they would happen. But this also brings another issue into my mind. I know that it's outside Chicago. They have had 430 killings in South Chicago alone from the beginning of this year until now. We're in the 10th month of the year. Which means that every month, 43 people are dying. 43. It's a serious subject. But on another note, I can't help but wonder why this, this guy... I, I had actually visited his MySpace, and those of you who want the address to the MySpace or her address, I'm going to try to edit this video and put it on there um, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this gentleman, a felon, convicted of attempted murder, attempted robbery, out on parole. Julia Hudson chose to bring this person not only into her life, but her family's life and her child's life. I understand that people go to prison for various crimes and rehabilitate themselves, but when you are living in, mom and, when, in your mom's house with this gentleman, when this gentleman does not have a, a, you know, in, a source of income, that already tells me right there that that's a dead giveaway that he's a deadbeat man. Not only that, but the fact that he threatens you now, saying that he's going to kill anyone close to you after he's lived with your family for so long, what, the two or three years or whichever, really makes me think that this kind of behavior started from the beginning. It didn't just pop up and all of a sudden needs to be uh, dealt with. It, it, it was there in the beginning, which means that you put up with it. It's unfortunate that there are so many single mothers, and I don't think this is just a black issue. I think that it's unfortunate that there are a lot of single mothers out there today, but I think that the emphasis needs to be stressed that this is a perfect example of why you choose your partners carefully. And this is not just going out to single mothers, this is single women in general. Choosing your partners carefully. Choosing your partners so that when push comes to shove, you shouldn't be slapped in the face with an I told you so. I know, ladies and gentlemen, that we get in times where we're desperate and sometimes we think about settling for less 
and you know we're going to give ourselves as much as we feel like we should deserve but this is a case where you bring this man into your child's life and when he threatens you knowing that he's a parolee you don't even contact the appropriate authorities and let them know exactly what's going on he roams the streets free you have lost your mother, your brother, and your own child in this foolishness. It's unfortunate and it's sad. And I don't see how the relationship lasted for two to three years in a marriage. I can understand people rehabilitate themselves all day, every day. And I'm rooting for you. And I hope that this is one of those situations where you really, truly believed in him. But to bring that man around your child tells me that you did not look deep. As, as a divorce court judge used to say look deep before you leap go out and, and, and see that you have to be careful because there are repercussions to the choices that you make and the people that you bring in your life and this goes on a general scale too I'm not saying just shy away from someone simply because they have a record but please tread carefully because you do not know what they're capable of in the future and this is one of those situations where it plays out I see this situation and it's not so uncommon it's unfortunate that this happened to her and it's so high profile because of her, of her sister's celebrity. But I know so many people out there, especially women, and I speak specifically to you guys because you guys carry the burden of raising you know, the, the household, unfortunately, because a lot of men aren't stepping up these days. Credit to those who do, by the way. I'm not attacking all men when I say that. But there, there's such an importance in just not putting up with a lot of things that are going to set a bad example for your child. There's such an importance of picking someone who is really, really quality. I don't know this man. The thing that I know about him would be a red flag. And I know the media is presenting to them to us according to how they want us to perceive this man. But Stevie Wonder could see that is not right. A parolee. Attempted murder. Attempted robbery. That questions his character completely. Been out of jail, you get into a relationship with him. All of a sudden you're married. He has not even had time to fully, you know, refocus. And I know that times are hard and you get desperate and you want to provide a male figure for your household. But don't just provide anyone. It reminds me of this story that one of my friends was telling me about how her sister um, is putting up with a man that beats her has had an abortion because the man that she's with said that he was not ready for a child. You have a, she, her sister also has a, a, a little daughter, five years old, six years old, something like that, living in the house with her. And her sister, you know, makes it seem like it's okay. Puts up with it. I, I sit back and I'm like, what possesses you to do that? Sometimes I think that you really, really underestimate a child's ability to know exactly what's going on in your household. And when, you're, when your parents are in a dispute or when there's turmoil in that family or in the relationship, the kids know. They can sense it. They hear things that they don't necessarily bring up. And to provide an example for that specific situation, that little girl is growing up knowing that her mom is getting beat and knowing that her mom is hiding it. So this is teaching her that she should put up with it. This is teaching her that she should hide it from everyone else. And, 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 and she's expected to do this. And, and this is teaching her to not talk about it. No matter how much trauma it's causing her in her life. Ladies and gentlemen, you really have to think. Think smart, not hard. About the choices that you make and the people that you bring in your lives. Specifically to the people with kids, but everybody out there who's single. And, and, and with people who are questionable or who bring them down. You really have to look deep and really search and find the right decision for yourself. Because you cannot surround yourself with people that do no good for you or are no good for you. Because in the end, the, the people that suffer are all the people that you bring them around, including yourself. You've lost, in one false swoop, Julia Hudson has lost her mother, brother, and a child to a man that she was married to for two to three years who won't even speak out right now. And I know that there are two sides to every story, but it's not looking so good at his case right now. I, I, I think it's really, really unfortunate, and I hope that you guys out there are just being very careful, and specifically to the women out there being very careful of the men that you bring in your lives. I know times get hard. I know you get lonely. You're human. You want someone to love you just as you know every man does out there. But at the same time, 
Don't settle for the scraps from from the, the, the lowest of the low. Set your goals higher. And don't surround your children. And this goes out to single men too. Don't surround your children who are not positive examples, such as yourself. Just doesn't make any sense in 2008. YouTubers, you don't have to respond to this one. I know some of you will, but I would like to know how you feel, so go ahead.